A Democracy for the People, by the People, All the People. Gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is manipulating boundaries and electoral constituencies to favor a party or a class of people. The Supreme Court ruled in 2024 that this is constitutional and that this is implied in the original documents of our nation. There have always been forces at play to undermine democracy, limit participation in elections. That's part of our history. Is it right? Probably not. Across our nation, Americans experience voter suppression, historic levels of dark money used to drown out the everyday person. A lot of you feel hopeless and helpless, that you, nothing you do matters, that your vote does not matter. And so you don't vote, you don't participate, and it all seems dirty, unethical, and full of special interests, and the corporations are running the show. I get that. Because the Supreme Court decision, there's no way to restore the Voting Rights Act at a national level, not without more reform in that direction. So instead, the next best thing is to strengthen our elections, cut back on obstruction destructive laws and keep eligible voters participating at the state level. Every state has the opportunity to create their own Voting Rights Act that is modern, fair, and equitable for all a couple solutions. Independent redistricting commissions, equal representation that are not partisan and strictly monitored for gerrymandering from outside lobbyists, donation transparency, making sure donation is open, fair, and honest, looking at our state election commissions and making sure that they only serve a certain amount of time and that there is a constant leadership and membership change regularly. Small donor financing for those who are first-time candidates candidates of color, female candidates who may not have connections to big money networks, but do have a swell of local support. Standardizing criteria, closed servers. There is a way to do communication between our elected officials and the day-to-day -day person. Elected officials need to be held accountable to is conversations with their day-to-day -day people that are electing them. Transparency of where their money comes from. Automatic voter registration. Make sure every eligible citizen who interacts with government government agencies is automatically signed in to become a voter. Make online voter registration easy and eliminate party. Restoring voter rights to those who were previously incarcerated, this helps reintegrate them into the community and help them be eligible for conversations in our community about transparency. When you're looking at voting is vote 411. 